Right, this is the Razer Rambler 16. If you watched last video, you'll see that we had to put the rim, the hub motor, the three and a half thousand watt motor on the front because we got sent the wrong axle whip what's coming. Um, they're replacing it, but I'm too impatient. I'm gonna throw it on the front. Might not have enough traction, might go all over the place, might not even work, but you're gonna watch me install it and then we're gonna take it for a ride. Let's just hope it works. Right, as you can see from the intro, I already had the front wheel on. I should have filmed it, but um, I put a disc on and I've also put on a brake caliper um, with an adapter. You can get these on Amazon, Alibaba, anywhere like that. It's just a little adapter you put on the um, over the wheel nut and it goes on. Um, if I show you down here, I had to put an extra couple of bolts, if you can see there, like double bolt it, just so you it had enough width for the brake caliber to go in. Um, but it's, it's making a bit of a noise, but it spins, it spins fine. So that's a one. Right, now uh, we put the back wheel back on. Obviously this is going to be, when I get the other hub motor, that's going to go straight on. Uh, the back instead because it'll be a lot easier but I'll put a couple of bolts on because it had a drum brake on so um, there's a bit of a gap now but we're just going to put them on just to sort of ease the gap on the back so that slots on fine not a problem um, we put a couple of um, locking nuts on uh, oh, sorry locking washers so they go in remember tabs inwards not outwards so they're in um, then we're going to go on with the bolts as you see I'm really quick at this my hands are going really fast but um yeah, so that's on. Yep, that's spinning nice and free. Um, so that's on fine. Look, as you can see, it's spinning perfect. So that's all done. Um, now we're going to move on. So now we're, we're going to put the controller in. So we're going to put the controller underneath the seat. Obviously, this is just a quick little build just to see if it works. This ain't going to be prim and proper. So I'm not going to screw it in. I'm just going to use some cable ties. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to loosen the seat. So we're loosening the seat now just so we can get the cable ties to go under the seat, under the bar, um, and then through the bolt holes, the screw holes, so um, we can put them in. Obviously, if you could subscribe, that would be perfect. Um, so we're going to go in now, and as you can see, we just tighten them up. Obviously, we'll chop them all off nice, so it's all nice, but we put one each side. So that will just hold that in place so, um, so we don't have to worry um, it falling out. Right, what we're doing now, we're going to connect up all the cables. Um, we're going to connect up uh, um, the phase wires now. So we're going to go in with the phase wires. So this is straight from the uh, hub motor. So we're going with the yellow first, obviously. Uh, then we're going to go in with the green once we've done this part. Um, and obviously I'm going to be using my new adapter I've had made. So we don't have to muck about soldering everything and the power lines. Um, it's just click and play. There's a video on that. Um, so this is just going to be click and play. Everything plugs in together. Basic, but it does the job. So we've just gone in with the green. Uh, now we're going to be going in with the blue. Um, I hope this side angle camera as well helps. So it just shows you what it's looking at from sort of from the inside. So, um, yeah, so we're going in with the blue now. That's practically done. I'll try to speed this up because I know me talking, showing you on the table, yeah, you're getting information, but when it comes to the builds, you, you, you want it done quick. You want it sort of, you want to see what happens, but you want it done in front of you. So it's all done. Um, just want to say thank you for everyone who's watching and the subscribers so far. Um, we haven't even got a month, but we're getting there. We're getting good viewing numbers. And, uh, yeah, we're getting there, so... Right, now I'm going on with the key switch. So, sorry, I'm going on with the battery, the battery cable first. But um, part of the key switch, there's a ring terminal what goes on with the positive. So that's gone in now. Um, now I'm going to go in with the, I'm going to go in with the uh, key switch. And that's the orange cable, power cable on my uh, loom. And this is, this is obviously the cable I've had made, as you can see it in my hand. Um, you've got part side and you've got controller side. So we just clicked in um, the power cable. Now we're going in with blue. That's the free speed. So that's going in. I mean, it's going really quick, so I'm trying to keep up. But um, the free speed's in. 
and then all these other ones are like low break high break probably won't use half of these but we just click them all up they're all done together so then they're not all hanging out it's no harm in it so as we can see we're going really quick for it that's how easy this cable is right now we've got the display so with the display um it's literally two just two um connectors we've got to go in so bang straight in with the display connector straight in um and now we're going to go in with the second one we're about to go in it's just two tabs in each one so you know where it is so that's all done right now we're connecting up the throttle as well so um the throttle's all gone in display's gone in right we just check the switch is done right so we've now got the display in and we've got the throttle in so we've turned the bike over now we're going to look at the battery so this is the more 72 volt 32 amp so now we're just going to put this in, see where we're going to want it. Obviously, when I come to doing it properly, I'm going to bend out the frame, like the, the holding bracket and everything else. But it fit quite nicely like this. Um, so we just put that in place and we're just going to connect it up. Um, once again, if you could subscribe and you like this video, there's going to be a lot more coming, a lot more ride on videos. Um, at the minute, it's more build, but there will be a lot of riding videos. I'm going to take it different places. I've got a couple of countries I'm going to. So, yeah. So, look, we're all connected. It's all turned on perfect. We're going to lift the front, give it a little spin, up so it works. So now we know the wheel works. We're now just going to... I'm going to switch that off. And now it's time to do the... Um, we're just going to change the throttle. So we're going to put the new throttle on. Just had to get that hand grip off. It was a bit tight. Man was aching a bit there, as you can see. So um, we've got that bit off now. Oh, well, nearly got it off. Come on, hurry up. There we go. So now we're going to take off the twist, half twist throttle. I never get it. What's the point of them things? And we're going to go on now with the main throttle. Nice full twist throttle. Uh, we've got our power on that throttle as well. And um, yeah, so now we're just going to screw that in place with the Allen key. It's a bit fiddly. You've just got to make sure you're squeezing both ends like anything. I can be a bit cack-handed sometimes. So cack-handed by that, I mean... I can be a bit sort of finger and thumbs, but uh, then that's on. So now we're going to go on display. As you can see, when I put this on, it's quite loose. And what I ended up doing is taking the hand grip, what I took off, cutting it half, putting it round the bar, and then tightening it on that. So that's how I did it. You won't see it. Um, I didn't show you that bit, but look, look it's, it's all nicely tight on there now because it's got the hand grip on it and it's just holding it nice and tight. Because all this is, this is just a pre-build. This is just, can it work on the front? The main name, I'm going to use it for the rear. Once I get my rear um, motor come, hopefully within a week or so, that's going to be the main bit. So this is just a little playback because I was bored. And I wanted to put a video up, to be honest, because I know a few people are watching. And um, it would just be nice to get it sorted. So that's all on. For all on. Now what we're going to do, we've got the battery. And um, basically all I did, I went on Amazon. And I just got the, um, basically, the, uh, what they called? Yeah, the straps. So I basically got the straps. And um, they're just going to, they just tighten on lovely. And it looks quite nice with the straps. And I, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the old box back on when I do it properly and show the Amore sign. So I think it looks quite nice. But yeah, it, it looks nice the way it is. It's all all done. Um so why I muck about doing all these straps, I can tell you now what actually happened with this build. So I didn't get the full video. Um, so yeah, so we basically, we got it all um, connected, all up and running. I put it on the floor, I thought I'd give it a little try in the kitchen. Because it was late, it was about 12 o'clock at night and I thought I can't go out on it yet. So I'm spinning it, perfect, it's going round, it's going round. But then it started, started grinding a little bit. So I was thinking... Hang on a minute. I said, this don't sound too right. And it started bending like the brake um, adapter. So I was thinking, oh, this don't seem right. So I pulled the adapter out. But anyway, it ended up um, launching off in my hand. And uh, as you will see, it's coming up. Uh, my wife come down in the morning. And uh, let's just say I didn't get a nice message from her. Um, <laughs> because as you'll see now... The bike decided to launch off from my hands, wheel spin on the floor, as you can see all these marks, I ruined the floor, up the bin and up the fridge, <laughs> left a mark on the fridge and it's grinded out all of my, um, all of my, uh, 
drop out on the front so now i'm going to need new forks as well as fitting the new motor so um yeah so it didn't turn out great and that's why we shouldn't be putting three and a half thousand volts on uh watts on the front of a Ram rambler 16 because it's a thin little dropout as you could see and i i should have known better but i was just bored so we tried it i didn't lose anything yeah a pair of forks 25 pound we're going to put that back on but um yeah thank you for watching and uh don't be an idiot like me don't don't try and put loads of power on a thin little dropout and then wreck your kitchen wreck your fridge and uh have your wife have the aunt with you but yeah uh thank you for watching that new one will be coming along um they're going to send it to me so i will finish this build and there are i've got some videos ready to go out soon and they're going to be a few ride along videos on my other bikes i've done so um please stick with me please subscribe please like and thank you for watching